to do any more mentalism or telepathy tricks for you guys, because, um, well, you've probably got sick and bored of seeing me. So I'm going to pick a member of the audience to try to see if I can confer telepathic abilities on them. Let's see. Um, uh, well, who have I built a rapport with? Hey, Rebecca, how about you come on up? Sorry, Bree. I'll get you next time. You've forgotten about me. Yeah, like I said, sorry about that. I'll get you next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. But anyway, what am I going to do? I'll remember it next time, I promise. I don't know you're going to eat it. Alright, well, it's all, it all works out in the same way. So what I'd like you to do for me, <clears throat> assuming this mic stand will stay put, is, um, this is a lot easier. Uh, what I'd like you to do for me is, again, um, remember this blindfold is completely opaque for me. So I'd like you to do me a favor and slip that on for me. Just put that on for me. Uh, other way up. No, 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 not that way up. Okay, so, okay. Can you see through that at all? No. Okay, good. Now, I'd like you to do me a favor. I'll just guide you to a seat. I'll just guide you to a seat here. Just walk backwards, walk backwards, walk backwards. Okay, you're good. Sit. Yeah, you're sit. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, good. So what we're going to do now is I'm now going to attempt to walk through the audience here. And we're going to try a couple of things. We're going to try to get someone to think of a number. We're going to get someone to think of a word. We're even going to get some people to randomly select some cards, objects, what have you. And uh, the idea is that while she is blindfolded, I'm going to try to hold the object here and see if she can telepathically pick up from me what object it is or what you know, what word has been selected or what number has been selected or what have you, okay? So for this first one, I'd like people, uh, I'd like people to start pulling up a random assortment of objects. Um, you know, just go to your pocket, go in your pocket. Okay, uh, we've got one right there, okay. Oh yeah, well, okay, we've got one at the back. That's good, that's good. I'll come back for that one. Hang on, I'll be right back there. I we could bring it to you. Thank you. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Okay, can you do me a favor and tell me what object I'm holding? Tell me what object I'm holding. Um, I'm something. Um, is it a game? You're getting there. You're getting there. What else about it? Uh, I'm getting that it's with multiple people. Yes? Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. <laughs> uh, is it a board game? Yes. Um, I'm sensing, uh, I'm getting a lot of letters. Yes. I don't, I don't really know what to do with them. Um, uh, Scrabble? Yes, you got it. Bingo. Thank you. All right, now, for the next one, okay, for the next trick, um, all right, now, for the next trick, we're going to have, um, I'm going to move that away just to put that out of the way. Now, for this one, that next one, I need a volunteer. Who here would like to raise their hand for the volunteer? Actually, uh, yes, I promised you I would help. Uh, you can go with Bree. No, no, like no, that guy. Okay. <laughs> what I'd like you to do for me okay. is I would like you to do me a favor. Um, I've already done some mind reading of cards, but uh, like I said, we're trying this with the, with the new person. So I'd like, uh, with Rebecca, so I'd like you to do me a favor. Shuffle these up as much as you'd like. Pick out any one and hand it to me. <laughs> One second. Are you meditating to get the uh, to get the psychic vibrations? I can do that. Yeah. Good. Good. Just checking. Thank you. I want you to tell me the number of this card. Uh, the number of the card. I'm supposed to be meditating. No. The, well, I'm sending. I'm sending it now. I, okay. I I want you to tell me the number of this card. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting that it's not a number. Is it the eight? Yes. I want you to tell me the suit of this card. Uh, is it club? Is it club? Yeah. Yeah. Not made or anything. Like I said, I'm not going to have an assistant out of the audience. All right, let's see. Uh, for the next one, um, actually, you know what? Let's try this card. Uh, let's try this card thing. Um, you know, that could have just been a fluke. That could have just been a fluke. How many people here think it was just a fluke? All right, all right. So we'll try one more time, just to be on the safe side. We'll try one more time, just to be on the safe side. Um, so turn around. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let, yeah, let's get her to turn around for this. Yeah, go ahead and turn around there. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just in case the blindfold thing. Yeah, go ahead. Good thinking, good thinking. We'll get her to turn around for this next one. So uh, who here would like to pick another card? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Like I said, let, uh, so like I said, I'll just uh, grab it and show it to everybody here. Can everybody see that? Okay. 
Now then, what is the number of this card? Uh, is it a nine? Oh, that's the word number. Okay. Will you tell me the suit of this card? Um, I'm guessing that it's maybe uh, a <laughs> diamond. Let's try. Let's try something. Let's try something far. Let's try something a little bit different. Let's try. So this way she can't possibly see. Um, I've got an idea here. I've got my post-its and I've got a pen. Somebody here, raise your hand if you've got a number in mind. Um, it can be any number of digits. Let's go with four just to be on the safe side. Somebody raise. A, somebody raise their hand if they've got a number in mind. Thank you. I'm not telling who it is because I don't want to, uh, you know, unless, uh, unless we end up uh, screwing this up. So I'd like you to do me a favor and write the four-digit number on the, po the post-its for me. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at it. <laughs> See if you can guess all the digits for me. Okay, um, I'm thinking here. See if you know what all the digits are. All the digits written down? Yes. Alright. Um, I'm sensing the first digit is an 8. No, C. C. I, I can't see anything. Um, is the first number uh, a 0? Bingo. See if you know what the next number is. Uh, I'm sensing. Is it another zero? Yes. See if you know what the next number is. Uh, the next number is also um, zero again. See if you know what this last number is. Uh, zero? Yep. <laughs> I can't explain. Let's try one more time with a word. Let's try one more time with a word, because words are often tough to convey. Let's see. Who here wants to try with a word? Who here? Uh, raise your hand if you've got a word. I have a word. Okay, you have a word. All right, we'll take this post-it note and make it in like word? Italian or Japanese. <laughs> as long, um, well, yeah, any word, as long as I can read it. <laughs> like I said, I, I, you know, it'd be easier. Like I said, as long as I can read it, that's cool. All right, I'll dish. <laughs> hey, I can cling on to Okay. Now, okay, this is going to be tough. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Let's see if we can convey this. Um, I'm not sure that she'll. I'm not sure she'll be able to pick up the word entirely. So we'll try letter by letter first, and then see if she can pick up the word. I want you to guess this letter. Uh, a. Okay, there's an A in the word. There's an A in the word somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's an A in the word somewhere. Alright. Um, what do you guess the last letter? Uh, the last letter. I'm sensing that it's E. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm having difficulty with a mental block myself. <laughs> uh, but like I said, um, I keep getting, like I said, the, um, yeah, like I said, the, the fruitiness of this word is just blocking. It's blocking. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm not giving those away. I'm not giving those away. I'm just simply saying I'm having a mental block. I think the aether is, I think the aether is, I uh, picked it up. So I guess, uh, I guess all she could get was the A and the E, but, uh, hey, at least we managed to get that. So let's try again with something else. Tell you what, who here would like to pick a random letter of the alphabet? Random letter of the alphabet. Like, um, I'm not saying it out loud because I don't want to reveal it. Tell you what, how about we get somebody at random to pick one random letter of the alphabet? One in 26 chance, right? I mean, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty odd, pretty decent odds. So tell you what, um, okay, so look, you, you got that one? Okay. Try and guess this letter if you please. I'm uh, guessing. It's, I'm guessing it's not at the beginning. No. Somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Uh, um, try and guess. Try and guess this letter if you please. I'm guessing. I'm getting the sense. Of, uh, is it? Is it? Isn't it more towards 
the end. Yes. Uh, is it dead? Oh. Bingo. We're going to see if we can confer the power of ESP on one other member of the audience. This one's an old classic. It's called Zaner Cards. These were, these were uh, used back in the 20s and 30s to test for uh, psychic powers. So I need one more volunteer. How about Bree? Oh, no, 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 no. You, you said you wanted to come up. So yeah, come on up. <laughs> what? I, what made you think he was a good No, no. No, like I said, what made you want to... Like I said, so what we're going to do here is we've got, we've got five basic envelopes here. Um, we've got the cross. We've got the circle. Star. Sorry. Waves. Let me put those cards back in all in order. And we got the square. Oops, wrong section. So, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to mix up the envelopes, and I'd like you to do me a uh, favor. I'm just going to shuffle these up a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to mix the cards up, and then we're going to start putting these in random envelopes, okay? So, mix these cards up a little bit. Now we're going to uh, let's let's even pick them at random out of the pile just to be on the safe side. So let's put that one there, and we'll put these off to the side over here for now. Okay. Sorry, this is going to take a second. Okay, this one here. Okay, oops. Okay. Like I said, I know, I know, it gets, it gets tiresome. And last one goes here. So what we're going to do is I've now got five basic envelopes with five ESP symbols. I'm going to shuffle them up, and I'm going to lay them out side by side on the table. And I want you to tell me which one you think has which symbol in it, okay? The five symbols are circle, cross, waves, square, and star. Are you getting, are you getting these pictures in your mind? Circle, cross, waves, square, and star. Yes, okay. So what we're going to do is we'll just use the back of the book here to set this up. Two, three, four, I need the cards out of the way, five. Now luckily I have a pen here with invisible ink, this always, this always works as a starting point. So which one of these five envelopes do you think contains the circle? Uh, just point. I want to say that they're in the same order you told them to be, so. Okay, so we're going to say that's the circle. So you're assuming this one's the cross then? Okay, cross. Which one contains the waves? That one. Okay, wavy lines for these. That one. Which one contains the square? Square. And finally, this one must contain the stars. So. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm now going to take these uh, back and give them a uh, quick little mix up here. Just uh, give them a little quick shuffle. And uh, I've got to do this before the invisible ink dries because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those phosphorus-based things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what, what you mean, yeah, well, Like I said, you know the reactor there, so I'm just going to quickly shake them and manage to get the ink onto the other side before we actually do it. So we've got five marked envelopes here, star, circle, and cross. So like I said, we've got five. Now the chance of getting, now the, the thing is, like I said, all these envelopes are clearly marked in red pen, which ones he thinks they are, they're in, okay? Now chance alone of getting one of these is one one in five. Uh, the odds of getting all five would be less than one in 120, which in my books is odds of ASP, which in my books is evidence for psychic powers. So let's take a look. This one is marked circle, and he got circle. So we got one out of five right. Okay. Everyone get a round of applause. Let's see. We got a square mixed with a square, so that's two out of five right. Let's see. Whoa, three out of five right. Waves with waves. Yeah, it's bacon, but close enough. <laughs> cross with cross. Which automatically means that if I'm not mistaken, he got all five right. So it looks like you've got ESP. I swear, it's like we're getting a whole bunch of psychics up here tonight. So uh, anybody know what time it is? Okay. It's hammer time. Da -da 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 
No, but in all seriousness, I need to see what time it is. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, we've already covered, uh, so like I said, we've actually covered uh, practically everything I wanted to tonight and uh, with time to spare. So uh, trivia will be coming up at 9. Um, we're going to pass a hat around for, uh, for everybody in case they want to toss in a little extra in case they were here before and didn't uh, wind up seeing the doorman. Uh, so like I said, we'll just pass the hat around, drop them what you thought it was worth. Um, I'm the practitioner. You've been a wonderful audience and wonderful Woo! helpful volunteers, so feel free. Good night. I think we're going to say that you can see your religion against it. Good job, practitioner.